Aloha, it's Jennifer Gilman here, and today you're gonna to learn about the sourcing of Hawaiian sandalwood. Big Island actually with a doTERRA group. I won the doTERRA incentive trip again this year and this year I got to go see the sandalwood farm. So a couple days ago we all went up to the sandalwood farm in different waves actually and it's called um, it's actually called the Kia Lake Kua. So Kia Lake Kua, or hopefully I'm saying that correctly, mountain preserve and doTERRA bought 9,600 acres, and they're working with the government with a massive reforestation program. And as a matter of fact, it's the largest reforestation program ever seen in the entire state of Hawaii. So over the years, you'll see more and more sandalwood trees planted. What I found out, what I didn't realize, is sandalwood needs other plants to grow with. And I love that because together in the world, we can make a difference, right? We can make a difference by ourselves, but together, how powerful is that? And the sandalwood is the same. So sandalwood's been my spirit oil. It was the oil that it was really captivating to me ever since day one of starting with oils. And I just love um, the doTERRA Hawaiian sandalwood is beautiful to me. I can't even explain the feeling I get when I use it. So it's a very special. I don't actually use it every day because it's, it's just a, it's like a, it's very, very special. So three to four times a week at the most is when I use sandalwood. And they need a host plant. So what we did, there's several plants and trees that can be that you know community for the sandalwood to thrive, but we got, to, got a chance to actually plant sandalwood trees and koa trees together. So we did a koa tree and sandalwood. So in the next video, you'll actually see me planting that tree and blessing it. That's it. Hey, it's Jennifer here and I just planted my sandalwood tree. It's right here, you can see that. And, um, and then I'm gonna plant a koa tree next to it so that it grows well. But when I plant it, I have to bless it. And I have to say the word ola, which means life. So, ola. That's it. Wasn't that so cool? There's a lot of reforestation that needs to be done. So currently they are planting, 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 planting. And the only way to actually get sandalwood essential oil is from the, the trees that have already fallen, the dead trees. And so that's the promise from doTERRA to the government here is that currently they're only using the wood that from the trees that are dead, that's already on the ground and they're not cutting anything. In the future, they're planning on doing some cutting, but they'll make sure that those, those trees are mature. First of all, it's more important for them to be mature because it's the best oil. The oil, the best oil is really in the heartwood. So we need to make sure those trees are very mature. But also the reforestation that's happening, you really only need so many trees and the massive planting that's happening right now it's like one in 60 trees will end up being cut is what they were telling us. So that's pretty cool. This land is just gonna be reforested and the Hawaiians are just thrilled that doTERRA is here taking care of the land that at one point just got, unfortunately got stripped and there was just nothing really left here. Uh, very little koa, very little sandalwood was, is currently on the land. So that's gonna change in the years to come and it's a long-term plan. That's the way doTERRA does things is it's really just you know, going in and doing the right thing for the long term. And that way the sandalwood will be sustainable in the future for many, many years to come. When those trees come in, it's a huge process. They actually have to use pressure washers uh, to get the bark off. And then if there's lava rock in the root or in part of the tree, they have to jackhammer that out. Then the tree actually gets chipped into kind of like a mulch then it finally goes into the distillation machine, okay? So there's a lot of work that happens before that finally goes into the distillation. Now let's say it takes two, or two to four trees to actually fill the distillation um, tank. Then it takes six to seven days for that distillation process to happen. So whereas there's something like lavender that might only take like 70 or 80 minutes Sandalwood takes six to seven days. 
the yield generally, this is just a general yield, is about 2,400 five mil bottles if the distillation tank was full. So that gives you a little bit of snippet of the sourcing of sandalwood. I'm really excited, the Hawaiians are excited about what doTERRA is doing here and really uh, the preservation, the conservation of their land and bringing back the sandalwood where it belongs here on the Big Island. So there you have it, a little more about the sourcing of Hawaiian sandalwood and being feeling uh, very sure that it's gonna be around for many years to come. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Thank you.